Good morning, Dartfish friends. You can tell by just looking at David and myself how early it is. Super Saturday ahead of us here in Portugal. It really is a very, very big day indeed. But I'll tell you what we're going to do, David. Just give me a second, because what I'm going to do is give our viewers the top ten as they stood at the end of stage eight. Eight last night and as they head into the opening stage this morning. So here we go, Oik Tanak leads the way, his lead over Elvin Evans, a slender six seconds, Danny Sordo after yesterday's problems, back in third, nine seconds off the lead. Katsuda San, what a day he had, 15.4 off the lead, he sits in fourth place. Sebastian Ogier, fifth at the end of the day. Kali Rovenpera is sixth, a mere 28.9 seconds off the lead. Gus Greensmith is seventh, Adrian Formo is eighth. It's a pick a lappy. First of all, our five cars is ninth, and Nicolas Gryazan rounds out the top ten. A really big day ahead today, not just in terms, David, of the kilometres, 165 of those, mm. but in terms of the action. We saw differing, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for, David? We saw differing approaches, approaches yesterday that delivered differing results. Yeah. Really important to go out with the right setup this morning. I'd say beyond the right setup, the right tyres. You know, that's crucial. What they do with the tyres this morning. Sebastian Ogier said, didn't he, yesterday afternoon, that he felt he had more soft tyres left than anybody else. The soft is the key to this event. You know, everybody, it's quite cool this morning now. 10, 11 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the threat of rain, a very you small see, threat the, of rain. You we, can see that so which way? We're, yesterday they were that way. Yeah, this Today they're sort of that way. To the west. To yeah, the, and there's a lot so of cloud east, up and over the there. To the west, they'd be in the sea. But, as, but as, soon as, as soon as we put our piece out yesterday about the weather, saying there's rain coming, our great friend George Donaldson was straight on, wasn't he? He was, he, he was. From, from where is George? Aberdeen? Yes. Somewhere in northern Scotland. George, you had a better forecast, a more accurate forecast <laughs> well, than we did. Do you know what? Did. It did rain yesterday, though. We were up in Argonne, and it did rain, but it was very, very slight rain. Now, even the slightest amount of rain up in the stages today could make a difference. But I absolutely agree with you. It's, it's all about it's the, the tyre choice. Yeah, it's getting it that is. right tyre choice. But it's also then getting the car to work with the tyres. What we saw yesterday, Sebastian Ogier told us at the end of the day, look, I know I've got more and better soft tyres left because I had to be more gentle on those tyres yesterday. He was running first on the road. But, but, the, but the conditions would, they, the conditions themselves would be less gentle because he's running through that right. soft. So he's not digging down more to gentle. the hard base. Yeah. So, but equally, we thought there was an issue with the Toyota interacting with the soft. None of the drivers really came up with anything, mm. did they? I mean, no explanation. No, no explanation. You know, Auger, we, we asked Sebastian, well, was it? Was it the car? And he was like, well, yeah. when you're running first on the road, you're in such diff you get such a different feeling anyway. Uh, but Elvin said, you know, Elvin was he, once again his humble self, saying that he wasn't entirely sure that second was representative of his, of his performance yesterday. But he's there. <laughs> and I made that point to Elvin Evans at the end of the day yesterday. Elvin Evans, really, we've not seen him super comfortable all year yet. But, you know, he's had the most remarkably consistent start to get, and he's very much in the fight. This is the great thing mm. today. We, it looked in the morning yesterday as if it was going to be a high Hyundai day, perhaps a high Hyundai rally. Elvin Evans, Sebastian Ogier right back in the mix. We've got four but, drivers that can still very, very much push for the win here today. Absolutely, but you'd have to say that Hyundai has sort of tripped itself over, hasn't it, with this stalling issue that, you know, Andrea Adamo again refused to discuss. Absolutely detail. point blank refusing. And it's but the one thing we do know, and, and we've always known when you look back, and I look back through some notes last night, it's always into a tight hairpin when they're, on, when they're on the handbrake. It's downhill, always downhill the handbrake. into a tight hairpin, but it's high the speed. It's crucially, it's the handbrake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously the handbrake, it, it locks the centre diff or yeah. something, and there is some something in there that when they're Took in a handbrake, it's stalling the car. It's and it only us. cost Oitanic. I think it happened once for Oitanic yesterday. It cost him a second or two, but Danny Sordo, it cost him quite a bit of time. Yeah. Sordo, by the way, very much after yesterday's problems, still in the mix. I think that Oitanic will come out comfortable this morning. I think the big threat to Tanak is Elvin Evans. You cannot write off Sordo. You cannot write off Oji. We've got a monster there. It's got, exciting. Day. We have, but you've got to say the big loser yesterday was Sordo, wasn't he? You know, he went out and... No, no, he no. The, the, big, the big loser was Neuville. Neuville was having a magnificent... Yeah, event. but, I mean, look at Sordo. Sordo was making great time, and then he had a tyre problem. Two, two delaminations, a puncture on the motorway. He was faced with more, I would say, more tyre issues than anybody. Then yeah. the stalling thing. Yeah. I, I, at, his, at his pomp, you know, he'd built a good lead. 
And now suddenly he's, what, nine seconds back? Yeah, but he could have a... Sordo today, I think, could be the one to watch. This, I tell you what, just to say, Cole, this is where we've seen Sordo. This could be Sordo's moment because yeah. psychologically, when he's led a rally and he's dropped back, he's struggled to yeah. come back with the same sort of fire that we saw from him yesterday. Will we see that today? Well, I think we could well see that today. Listen, folks, it really is going to be quite fascinating. As I mentioned, there are seven stages today. There's 165 k's. The final stage is just through the trees, literally. There's an avenue of palm trees heading away towards the Atlantic Ocean. And at the end of that avenue is the final stage of today. This new downtown. Well, it's not even downtown. It's on the coast in the little... The area, this area is called Foz, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's a kind of little, little, little village, I suppose it is. It's a village on the edge of Porto called Foz. Folks, a big day ahead. Don't forget dirtfish.com. We will bring you all the news. Myself, David, Gary, our ace cameraman, will be out in the stages if anything happens. As you saw with Neville yesterday, we'll be right there to bring you all the news. Thank you for joining us so early, David. Is it time for a coffee? It's definitely time for a coffee. Definitely time for Gary to change out of those shorts Yeah, as well. it's a bit chilly. I can tell he's a bit yeah. nippy out there. Folks, we'll see you later on today. Thanks for joining us on our balcony here at the Dirtfish House at Rally of Portugal.